Hello friends today i would be talking about how to set up test sigma which is an open source no code test automation platform using the release package that's available on its github repository so a quick introduction about test sigma test sigma claims to support automated ui tests for web mobile and apis using plain english scripts so that you can author as fluently as you think about your test and in this video we will see how we can set up this open source test sigma version on our local machine i have tried it before and trust me it was real quick so let's go to the github and see how the test sigma repository actually looks like so i'll right click on this uh, button of a uh, view in github and open it in a new tab so now we have opened the github repository for test sigma and uh, we see certain tagged keywords so there are tagged keywords for testing devops uh, test framework test tools browser testing selenium cross browser testing test automation framework if we go down and see the license for test this repository that's the apache 2.0 license if you want to read that in detail you can right click on it and open it uh, to read more about it but from what i know this is a pretty open and restriction free license also if we go down we can see the releases section where uh, the last release was 11 days ago which is a pretty good sign which means that this uh, tool is pretty much in active development and support so that's an amazing thing to know so going down we see some options in the readme so there are options available for getting started docs tutorials discussions discord server where the test sigma community resides on and then the youtube channel for test sigma and let's look down so there is an overview and then there is a option for deployment so there are multiple deployment options that test sigma supports one is uh, to deploy through the test sigma cloud and then there are two other options for docker and downloadable package so we have already made a video on installation using docker so if you prefer to use docker uh, go ahead with that video so for this video will look into how to install uh, and set up test sigma using this downloadable package so we'll check out the documentation and uh, use the downloadable package to configure and set up the test sigma on our local machine system so i will right click on this uh, downloadable package and open this in a new tab so before we talk more about uh, the setup or using downloadable package uh, one thing that i have noticed is that uh, test sigma has a really good documentation if you see on the left side there are a lot of options that are available and there are different sections which you can quickly scan through coming back to the test sigma setup so the first step is to create an installation folder with the name test sigma so basically you can create the folder with any name uh, i have created it with the name of test sigma so that uh, it could have a logical connection to what i am doing here so that's step 1 the step 2 is actually now to download the release package so i'll go back to the github repository uh, where we saw the releases section so i'll go back there and uh, open the release so the latest release is version 1.8.0 which i have opened and you can see lot of uh, zip files in the assets so right now i'm working on the windows pc so i am more interested on uh, the windows version 1.8.0 zip and uh, i'll download this so i'll click on this to download and wait for the downloading to complete So meanwhile uh, I'll quickly talk about uh, what test sigma open source actually consists of so there are four main components as part of this test sigma open source solution so first is the mysql uh, database next is the nginx server then there is a test sigma server and a test sigma agent So this test sigma package has now been extracted by me. Uh, I have extracted it into the test sigma folder that I had created for uh, this solution. And uh, if we go inside this test sigma Windows version 1.8.0, which is the release package version, we can 
we see different components that is the engine server the test sigma agent server and the test sigma ui so uh, if we see i mean the engines the test sigma agent server ui these are all bundled together with the test sigma so the only component that we now need to install is the my sequel so my sequel is not part of this but uh, i'll the link to my sequel is been mentioned in the test sigma documentation so we can install the mysql uh, through that so so i'll now go to the documentation and quickly go down to the portion for mysql so this is the link i'll i'll also paste this link in the description of this video so from this link we can download the mysql so there are multiple options Uh, for operating systems that are available here so i'll select microsoft windows uh, and then go ahead with the recommended download button and uh, then there are two options to download so one is basically the web installer another is the offline installer so i'll go ahead with the web installer which is of 5.5 mb so i have started the download and uh, it asked me to log in and sign up but i'll click on no thanks uh, and i'll just uh, start my download so i've downloaded the mysql installer and uh, put it into the test sigma folder on my local machine so i'll double click on it to install the key part with this installation is that we have to install mostly through the default setting so there is no major configuration change that we will be making in this entire process and uh, the only thing to watch out for is that when it asks for the mysql password we will enter the password as root because root is the default uh, test sigma server's uh, password and uh, if you want to give some different password i mean there, there the, that option is also available and you can provide that by setting an environment variable when you when we will be starting the test sigma api server so now we will go to the test sigma release package and uh, start the nginx batch file so i've clicked on it and started it similarly i'll also start the test sigma server and the test sigma agent now what we will do is we'll go to the browser we'll connect to this uh, connect the agent and server so let's go to local host and uh, 443 and on https so i have gone to this address the connection is not private i'll go to advanced and proceed to local host and save so this is because of this certificate uh, not being secure so that certificate is not valid so this issue is because of that but we are right now running it on a local system so that's fine it asks to create your test sigma profile so i'll just create my own test sigma profile and uh, I'll, i'll i'll give my email address and uh, username and password so all this is done and i'll click on go to dashboard so now i am on this test sigma on my local machine and now the last step that i have to do is i have to connect the agent that's running with uh, this server so i'll add an agent uh, and the beauty with test sigma is that it automatically detects uh, the agent on this machine so i'll click on save it's looking it's registering and now the agent is up and running uh, with the available browsers on my machine which is firefox edge chrome so things are sorted so that was part one of the video how to set up in the next part we'll see how to run author list uh, through test sigma so that's all for today thank you